huge, beautiful lake, the crystal clear water that you could connect with credit. Add to this an island right in the middle of the passage made of ice. No motorboats, no sailboats, not even a wooden plank. Add to this a huge swath of land with lush green grass that extends to as long as the eyes can see. Mountains colored red and blue in a distant corner. Soft murmur of flowing water, coupled with the occasional rustling of wind. Add to that gentle flowing breeze through your hair, remind you that this is reality, not No signboards, no paths, no trails, no trace of existence of any animal or human life. Wild strawberries growing right at your feet. Eat as much as you like. This is an exotic travel destination. But a few tour guides mention this. Maps distort reality, dislocating important areas, blurring out a lot of detail. Fellow Toastmaster, honored guests, today I talk about a journey through destiny and hope you're able to guess my location before my talk runs up. The first step to get there is to pray to God. Oh great God, please bless me. Please allow our homeland to be visited this year. A mere 0.002% of the Earth's population get to visit this place in the lucky year when this is over. The next step is to pray for your family. Oh family, please allow me. Please allow me to go. I will come back. Because the next thing you do is to sign a disclaimer, just in case you don't make it. <laughs> <laughs> you fly, you drive, and then you walk. Proving your identity to prime hawk like eyes. Who are ready to pounce upon any mistake that you make. Hence begin the seven days in heaven. You climb through conifers in heavy rains where any misstep could just be your end. But then, just take a peek around. You'll find a mesmerizing view of two rainbows over snow-clad mountains, which are twinkling in the clouds, the clouds that you're standing on. You cannot fill a bag with these clouds and take them home. Your camera is failed. You have to carry these. You cannot carry these. You have to breathe them in and fill your heart. There will be times when you will want to give up. The climbs would be harder than yesterday. The backpacks would feel like iron clocks. But then, sit back and look around. You are the only thing there that an artist would like to remove from the scenery. Or maybe just leave it in. To leave a glimmer of hope for mankind that mortals can visit this place in their lifetime. This place is magical. Water tastes better than wine. The air is cool and calm. And at the altitude, it's so thin that you get an intoxication akin to a few shots of tequila. <laughs> you can amaze at the God's creations. Meandering rivers, nourishing the mountains, past valleys as if sucked dry, grasslands, with winds that can make you fly, leaping beyond to infinity. Plates don't get dirty. Strangers become friends. The grass feels softer than a feathered deck. And then there's the pass. A four hour long climb to the point of no return. Heavy rains sweep everything every time down to an abyss 500 but those that make 
in pass, yet to see the homeland of the gods, the most challenging piece of rock that mankind has ever found. Smiling away from above the clouds to glory. Then on your way down, you can witness what all you had missed. A sea of flowers going to a lake. A lake that bends into a waterfall. A waterfall that goes into another lake, whose other end is beyond the horizon. No fishes, no animals. Nothing lives there except for a piece of rock that worshipped every three years by the people from the other side who had skipped the rock, who had skipped the pass. Let me help you guessing this place further. There's a, there's a frozen lake that you can trek over for a week. There's this region with volcanic rocks that you could drive over right to the mountain of Magna. The city built over a lake. This place has remained the same for years. Mankind and God are together in trying to maintain this place like this is. Three nuclear powers have shooted psychotics. They all vie for a piece of it. Who can blame them? There is magic in Kashmir. Thank you.